the man who carried out the attack on this VTA rail yard was previously detained by U.S. Customs Enforcement. That is detailed in a Department of Homeland Security memo that a federal official described to the Associated Press. Now, the shooter, Sam Cassidy, was a maintenance worker at the Valley Transportation Authority. Back in 2016, Customs and Border Protection detained him after a trip overseas. They found Cassidy had books about terrorism and manifestos, as well as notes about his hatred for the VTA. And when those officers asked Cassidy if he had problems with anyone at work, he said no. But employees who survived Wednesday's attack say they believe Cassidy's rampage was targeted. He walked by other people. He let other people live as he gunned down other people. Kirk Bartlett ran to help when he heard the barrage of shots, but it was too late. I just wanted to see if I could save anybody. And uh, there wasn't anything anybody could do. We're now learning employees at the facility had undergone active shooter training in the last year, which Santa Clara Sheriff Lori Smith says likely saved many lives. The sheriff's office is just next door. Her deputies raced in moments after gunfire erupted. They didn't fire a single shot. They responded the way that they should. They took their life in their hands, and I know for sure that when the suspect knew the law enforcement was there, he took his own life. The gunman was armed with two semi-automatic handguns and 11 loaded magazines. He fired 39 shots at his co-workers, killing nine of them before turning the gun on himself. After the attack, authorities tell us they found bomb-making materials inside the gunman's locker, including detonator cords and chemicals used to make explosives. Meanwhile, authorities are combing through the now charred home of the gunman. San Jose City officials accuse Cassidy of setting fire to his home before carrying out the attack at the VTA while dressed in his work uniform. Officials say they found hundreds of rounds of ammunition inside. We're still waiting to learn what else they found and if it'll help lead them to a motive. Still, many unanswered questions remain about this heinous act. All of the victims were men and came from varying racial and ethnic backgrounds. Still, police are working to hammer out a motive. The Associated Press talked to the ex-wife of the suspect who said he loathed his job and had even talked about harming his co-workers a decade ago, though she said she never believed him and it never happened until now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, my wife said um, CNN and everybody's over at the house. Oh. We were sitting in the front of our office and we started hearing the, the pops, the bang, 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 bang. Blockage blocked the Westboro Baptist Church from being seen by the family. I heard the group, my coworkers over there, yelling, screaming, calling, call the police. Uh, and then the shooting continued and the shooting continued and I went, uh, told the other two guys, it's an active shooter, locked the room down, barricaded the door. And at that time I went around to see if I could render first aid, if I could do anything for anybody, if I could help anybody. And there wasn't helping anybody. Um, Sam made sure he got, he killed them all. He, he, who he wanted, uh, he made sure they were dead. And um, I watched some of my coworkers breathe their last breath and, and they were all gone. And I was stunned at who he shot. And, um, and I understand it. I understand what, what pushed him. Uh, Sam was always on the outside. He was never in the group. He was never accepted by anybody there. He was always that, that guy that never partaking in anything that the people were doing. And, uh, you know, you look back and you go, yeah, it, it, it fits. It fits the whole profile. It fits everything that was going on. It's a 2015, this out the US. He was pissed off at certain people. He 
was angry and he took his vengeance out on very specific people. He shot people, he let others live, he walked by other people as calm as could be, and he went into the other building and started shooting over there and targeting very specific people. Yeah, we'd, we'd had a good relationship, but just very cordial. You know, I always said hi to each other. He was very nice to me. Um, I get the feeling that, you know, had I been in that area, that he wouldn't have harmed me. The, the thing that I had to deal with was sitting in our office cowering in fear and realizing me and my coworker were like, we're not allowed to conceal carry. We're not allowed to carry guns. And we could have stopped what that person was doing. 